if you look at the armors that uh, people are using, uh, normally people are looking at the back of the armor and provide something like a Kevlar to take care of the tensile force in the back. And uh, the front part of the uh, armor is where the compressive force is, uh, is applied. Uh, for that, uh, normally people are using either heavy steel or, uh, or ceramic. Steel is heavy, and ceramic is also to some extent heavy, but more, the more important problem with ceramics is that they shatter in the first uh, strike. So for the second strike, you have nothing. Uh, so uh, we came up with the idea. Uh, I know I originally started making this material not necessarily for armors, but uh, more for cars and trains to uh, squeeze like a like a sponge, but in a heavy duty kind of form of a sponge. So we can put it in front of a car or um, or um, high speed train and uh, and take care of the hmm. collision impact. But when we saw the uh, the performance of the material, we started thinking, how about uh, ballistic and, uh, and bullet? And um, so I tested those and uh, we saw that, what you saw. Uh, so we, we saw that the material can perform. Basically, what we have here is a bunch of air bubbles that are embedded in the material. And when you hit that uh, material, it will... Um, um, squeeze the bubbles, and uh, and by squeezing the bubbles, it will um, absorb the energy. 